Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and welcome to my everyday makeup basket for July of 2019. I've been trying to like rearrange and reorganize my everyday makeup basket. I'm trying to make it a little bit bigger, but as you can see, it's not all qu quite organized yet. <laughs> so bear with me. There's still a few like empty drawers and things are still a bit messy. So we're just going to go through everything. But before we start, um, I want to talk about a product that I had in my everyday makeup basket last month that I said was on the chopping block and that I may or may not declutter. This is the Jeffree Star... Uh, skin frost in the shade summer snow cone so it's just like this very very bright yellow but the thing is i think i hit like hard pan on this and it doesn't look that great when applied with a brush it looks too light and it, it just wasn't great i like the other uh, jeffree star highlighter that i do have that is uh ice cold i think but this one just didn't really work that well so i'm going to declutter this one but wanted to bring it up since it wasn't in my big declutter week because it was in my everyday makeup basket during declutter week. All right, so this bottom drawer, like usual, contains my big face powder, which is still the Cody Airspun powder, mainly because I'm still panning this, and it's like almost empty, like it's gonna be gone. Um, and after that one's empty, I'm going to be bringing out my Maybelline Fit Me Loose powder, but I just really wanna finish that one up. I also have my little bread thing from Laura Mercier in here, and the rest of the products are from my Harry Potter Project Pan, which will actually be ending this month. So after this, either I'm going to reorganize these drawers or I'm going to do a new project pan and put something in here. Let's move on to the rest of my powders. First, I'm bringing in this Milani face powder. This is the Multitasker face powder. I think it's just shade four. Yeah, it's shade number four. So it's just a little dark for me at the moment, but this is a really good face powder and I like it. And I was using that hourglass powder for so long and I still haven't panned it. I'm actually thinking about repressing it, but I've never repressed uh, an hourglass powder before, so I don't know how that'll go. But I'm going to try it out and then put it back in my drawer, whereas I really wanted to bring in a new face powder, so I'm going to bring in this one. Next, I'm actually bringing in a blush. I know I am currently panning one of these three pan palettes from ABH. Uh, I'm panning the peach one in Peachy Love, but I also got this one. This is in Pool Party, which are some nice pink tones. And I've just been going day in, day out towards the same blush, and I just kind of wanted to give myself just a little bit of a variety. So I'm bringing this one in for July. My last three powders in here are all highlighters because I am currently panning a contour, a bronzer, and another face palette. So uh, the highlighters that I'm bringing in, this first one is from Becca, and this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector. I believe this is Moonstone. I want to say yes this is in moonstone i brought this back out because i haven't been touching any of my other becca highlighters in quite some time and this one hasn't gotten a whole lot of use yet but i like the shade i love it especially like as an inner corner highlight for my eyeshadow i think it's very nice so i'm trying to get just a little bit more use out of this Next, I'm bringing back out a Fenty highlight that I panned completely one side and hit pan on the other. This is the Freestyle Highlighting Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. So I totally panned the Lightning Dust side, and now I want to use up Fire Crystal. Now that it's summer, I feel like I can go for a bit more of an intense highlight and it not appear as intense, maybe just because I'm sweating, or maybe just because it's that time of the year, but I am going to bring this in. I want to see how much more pan I can expand on this, and I would like to use this up, but I'm not sure how realistic of a goal that is, but I've already gotten pretty far. Last but not least, I have this Physician's Formula Butter Highlight that I got in the mini kit, so I am bringing this out just to use it a bit more because I haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of the butter highlights. Let's shake these up and go for lipsticks next. So I am trying to make a dedicated drawer in here just for lipsticks. I actually went through all of these in detail in my declutter week video, which was the lipstick declutter. I mentioned each one of these and what I'm using them for. I don't wanna repeat myself too much if you've seen that one, but I wanted to focus specifically on these black lipsticks as I am beginning to test out lipsticks for my upcoming video on the Best and Worst Black Lipsticks Volume 2. So these are the two I've picked up recently. I have the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in black, or the Bronx, I think is the name of the shade, and then I have the MAC Retro Matte Lipstick. This is in Caviar. 
So if you have any recommendations for black lipsticks, let me know down below. And if you want to see the details on the rest of these lipsticks, check out my lip declutter video because I show swatches, I show the lipsticks, and I just didn't want to repeat myself too much for people who had already seen that one. My concealer drawer is a little bit full, so let's go through this one next. First, I have the Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer in the shade 2. This product was um, discontinued, and this is actually a big sample size of this, so I'm trying to just finish this up. It's just a salmon-colored concealer that I like to use on my under eyes. Next, I have two shades of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I have the shades Light and Ivory. Ivory's been a closer shade match for me recently because I'm just really pale right now. So it's almost halfway gone. I can still use light. I just need to like lighten it up a little bit actually. So. so I'm getting a lot of great use out of this. I'm glad that I repurchased these to use them. And I also I removed the sponges because I like using this a lot better without those sponges. Next I have another favorite that I rebought. This is the Kylie Concealer and I have the shade, what shade are you? I have the shade Gypsum. Unfortunately this is also too dark. I should have gone lighter but a lot of the concealers were sold out so this was the lightest shade that I could pick up. I still love this formula. I just have to lighten it like everything else that I have to lighten right now. So I would 100% recommend this. Uh, just next time I buy this I'll go for a lighter shade. Next, I brought back out, this is from my makeup backup drawer actually, so this is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Warm. This was one of my favorite products, it still is a really great concealer, and I brought this out because I tested out a new concealer from Ulta that was the same shade, but it was way too dark on me, and I couldn't remember if this shade was really dark or if I've just gotten really light, because it used to be my perfect shade match. This is also way too dark. It just means that I've gotten lighter and paler and I'm just, I'm just pale. as I'm Casper. I am Casper right now. So I still love this formula. It is great. I love it, but I also have to lighten this one. Last but not least, I have these two cut crease canvases from Makeup Revolution. I have the white shade and then I have a shade that's a cool toned version of my skin tone, which is the shade Illustrate. Uh, a bit of a, um, I like guess spoiler from my upcoming empties video, I finally panned my Tarte Shape Tape, which is what I've been using every day to prime my eyes and set them for pow or set them for eyeshadow. So now I'm actually using these to prime my eyes every day. Let's move on to foundations now. Speaking of being too light, of course, I have my LA Girl Pro Coverage White Mixer because I need this. I haven't been using this a lot with concealer. For concealers, I've been trying to just mix in a lighter concealer, um, but I think I'm going to have to start using this with concealer. I also have a white concealer from LA Girl as well that I need to start using. Next, I have the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation in the shade 705, which is just a tad too dark for me. I love this foundation. I love mixing it. I love wearing it on its own. And I love the scent. It's got SPF 20. This is just one of the best summer foundations from the drugstore. And I did get a request for that. I am going to be doing a video sometime this month about the best um, foundations for the summer. So that will be coming out and spoiler alert, that's definitely one of them. Next I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal, no this is the Fast Base Stick Foundation, I have the shade F6. This is actually almost gone. I twisted it all the way up and found out that there's actually a decent amount of product left in the very bottom of it. So I have a couple of more uses out of this which I'm going to use up. Next I have my Holy Grail Summer Foundation, the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation in the shade Shortbread which is also just a tad too dark for me. <laughs> but I love this foundation. I can't get enough of it. It's definitely going to be in that video coming out. I, I can't. I, I just love this. Last but not least, I have this Garnier Skin Active BB Cream 5-in-1 Miracle Skin Perfector in light slash medium. I picked this up because I saw it on sale at Ulta. And also, I remember having this put on me like back before I was ever into makeup. So when I would never wear makeup and I went to like a wedding, uh, my grandma put this on me and I just remembered it and it was kind of an odd memory. And recently I've actually been really wanting to go back and try older products that I used to like. So I thought, why not? Let me try this again and see what I think of it now that I'm into makeup and have been for years. And I actually, so I've used this once so far. <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> I tried applying it with a brush. I tried applying it with a beauty blender. I got to try it with some different primers. It looked terrible, <laughs> but I'm going to keep testing it out. And I might do a whole video on just like that, like trying out older BB creams and foundations that like I used to like and uh, 
saying how I th feel about them now. Let's move right along to primers. I have this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Pore Minimizing. This is almost empty. I need to cut it open soon. I'm just trying to pan this and get it out of my collection. It's a decent primer, but I'm not sure if it's worth it for the price of a full size. Uh, but it's a decent primer. I mean, I've gotten better ones. I think there are better ones from the drugstore, but I'm just trying to finish this up. Next, I have two cover effects primers. One is my Holy Grail, which is the mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment. I love this primer to death. I don't know what I would do in the summer without it. And the other primer is the blurring primer, which is very similar to the Smashbox primer. It's a pore filling primer. And I'm, again, just trying to use it up because this cover effects, this one is pretty full, but this one, it's a little, it's like halfway empty. So I'm trying to just finish up these primers and move them out. Last but certainly not least, let's go through the miscellaneous eye product drawer. <laughs> the first two mascaras I have here are from Wet n Wild and Essence. I have the Essence Lash Princess Fall Slash Effect Mascara, which is one of my favorites. And I have the new Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara, which I was a bit worried because I think they reformulated and repackaged this, but I have to say so far, I'm pretty impressed. I think it's the same, if not a little bit better than the original one. Next, I have a mini of the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara, and while I love the formula on this, I think the brush is just gigantic. And people have mentioned this with the full size as well. This is bigger than my eye. It actually makes it very difficult to put this on, but I have to say I like the actual formula. It really clumps up my lashes in a nice way, and I like it, but that brush is just gigantic, so I don't know if I would buy a full size. Next, I have a mini of my favorite clear brow gel. This was actually a point perk at Sephora. This is the ABH Clear Brow Gel. Of course, I have my NYX Glitter Gel because when do I not ever have my NYX Glitter Gel Primer? But I have to say, recently I've actually been experimenting with just putting shimmers onto my lid with my finger and not using a primer, and it's been pretty nice. Not to say that I'm gonna just immediately not use this anymore because I do love this. I've got an eyelash curler. I used to have one from Birchbox and it actually broke and almost guillotined my eyelashes. So uh, I just got a new one. I have this like mini sample of a liner. I think this is from Tarte and this is the Man Eater liner. I got this as like a, a little present. Um, my grandma went to Ulta and she got a whole bunch of Tarte samples with her hair product thing. <laughs> uh, so I'm testing this out. Last but not least for this drawer, I have two cream gel liners from ColourPop. I got these in a kit with the new yellow palette from their new summer collection. So I have just a white and like a mustard yellow. Okay, and we're going to leave it at that for this month. I did mention that I wanted to do my samples, my bite size reviews in this series as well, but I haven't actually gotten around to really using up my samples yet. So next month, once I get around to doing that and doing more reviews, I will start bringing that into this series. Also, don't get too used to this layout because I am still trying to fiddle and play around with the, all of this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you are going to be using for the month of July. Happy July, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.